Now I have a lens that the effective focal length is 98.1. I want to find a radius of curvature for either the first surface or the second surface in order to make the effective focal length exactly equal to 100. So that's another way to fix the focal length. So in order to do that, based on our calculation, we know that in order to get the exact focal length equal to 100 millimeter, the U prime or the angle should be negative 0.125 based on the internal pupil diameter that we have. So I click here and go to marginal ray angle. Click on marginal ray angle and for the angle, I'm going to put negative 0.125. When I press enter, Dmax automatically find the radius of curvature. So it puts negative 104. As you remember, it was negative 100. So this number is changed and the effective focal length jumps to exactly 100. Now, let's take a look at another example. Let's say I want to have effective focal length or the focal length of 50. Based on our calculation, in order to get 50 millimeter effective focal length, we need to have U prime or marginal ray angle equal to negative 0.25. So again, I click here. It's already on marginal ray angle. I change this number to point twenty five. When I click on that or enter, then you can see Zmax automatically changed the radius of curvature to negative thirty three, and the effective focal length is exactly fifty. So that's another way to change the effective focal length of the optical system. There is a lot of other ways like optimization or using the optimizer merit function editor you can put operand of EFFL to change the focal length but here in this course we just want to talk about the methods that are related to lens data editor